My name's Guy Kesteven. I've been a mountain bike and kit tester for nearly 25 years, and this is the Mystery Ranch Galligator Lightweight Outdoorsman Pack. So, not a specific mountain biker's pack. Uh, Mystery Ranch normally kind of make for the military and emergency services over in the US, but really lightweight, 600 grams, uh, 1.3 pounds, just under 20 litres capacity in the main compartment. And then you've got these two big elasticated side pockets here, which are perfectly sized for either a, like a Calagas stove or a big Nalgene uh, flask. Not a standard bike bottle, so uh, you will lose them if you just stuck them in there. I mean, but again, this is an outdoors pack. But you've got two compression straps across there to uh, cinch it all down. And then to keep it light, you've just got a very thin strapping system. You saw it's got a sternum strap and a waist strap. Not incredibly stable, you know, they're not going to support a lot of weight, uh, but it's just enough to keep it, stop the bag from moving around uh, when you're driving around on the bike. And you've got just thin two, two thin uh, padding strips either side of your spine there. So if you are packing anything sharp and pointy in there, or even a pump, whatever, you will need to be careful, make sure it's wrapped when it's inside the bag uh, to stop it poking through these unprotected areas here. But, because, sorry, not but, uh, because apart from this top pocket here, this is up your zip top pocket in there, you know, which comes with a key clip, so that's the obviously place for your valuables, your phone and quick access and stuff like that. Because apart from that, this bag has pretty much no internal dividers. Uh, I mean, you've got you've got a uh, reservoir sleeve in there, and you've got a toggle to support that, keep it upright, and, and then you've got access there for the hose on either side, so that's all sorted. But apart from that, you've just got this massive open kind of main hold but uh, so things are going to jump rattle around if they're not wrapped up but on the plus side you've got this unique kind of triple zip opening so it's fully open when it is open so really easy to rummage around and it just reminds me a lot of the old Carrie Kim sack if you used to do Trail Quest and Polaris back in the 90s uh, you remember Carrie used to do a really light runner's pack called the Kim Sack, named after the Caramore International Mountain Marathon. And that was just really popular with people who were carrying like a sleeping bag, uh, camping equipment, spare layers and stuff like that. So it's not a conventional ride pack in the kind of multi-pocket camelback sense, but you know, it's super tough. It's come up really nice, nice and clean after I've used it and washed it. And just for sort of general outdoor sport, whether you're running, whether you're mountain biking or whether you're just hoofing around in the woods, for work or pleasure, it's, uh, it's definitely a name worth looking out for. Uh, I actually had a hip pack that went with this as well. And again, very, very similar, just really tough, simple construction. And uh, that's now being worn by Jim, uh, the photographer who works with Focus, because he looked at it while I was, I was riding it in the Focus Jam video I put up recently. And he was like, ah, I like that backpack. And I was like, well, you know, so you do long-term testing on that. And he keeps mailing me back going, mate, that pack. It's brilliant because he just wanted something simple and open that he could put all his camera gear in. He wasn't fussed about like masses of dividers and little clever pockets. And uh, that's this kit suits that kind of person down to the ground. So in summary, uh, don't buy it if you want a bike specific backpack or you're a fan of uh, lots of little internal dividers and pockets and clever compartments or you want a nice stiff back panel. But if you're looking for a lightweight, tough and uh, super easy access all round outdoorsman backpack, the Mystery Ranch Galligator might be right up your uh, street. So, uh, massive thanks to Zero Cycling, uh, PTs and Crud for sponsoring the channel. Thanks to Mystery Ranch for sending the bag in. It's $90 in the US. Uh, Google for prices wherever you're watching in Europe or the UK. Uh, thanks to my Patreon supporters as well who pledge on a monthly basis to support these videos and the channel. Uh, if you really like what I'm doing, please consider joining them uh, and you'll get exclusive, extended and behind the scenes edits as a thank you. Uh, but click for notifications, subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and get busy in the comments to uh, yeah, let me know. Is, do you prefer a bike do you prefer a bike specific backpack or do you like something general purpose that you can use for a whole bunch of other stuff as well? You know, I'd be genuinely interested to hear what you think because obviously I'm reviewing these products uh, for other people as well. So uh, always good to get feedback from real users, not just me sat here in the workshop. But for now, I've been Guy Kestivan on Guy Kest TV talking about the Mystery Ranch Galligator Backpack.